Yes, when you tell the truth, then nobody goes to church, nor to mosque, nor to any temple. But your Christ is so weak. Gibran said it. Zaradasht said it. My Christ is the real Christ consciousness. When Osho went to London just to be in the airport for six hours, Margaret Thatcher put him in prison. This man is very dangerous. Yes, truth is the only danger. So no media can get Maryam. Even if I pay, there is a radio here, Radio Lebanon, and another radio, South El Gaddu, South Lebanon. And I worked with this, both of them, without money. I went there. They said, oh yes, welcome, we pay you. Bullshit. They didn't even call, because one of them called, don't put Maryam on TV. Don't put Maryam on the radio. This woman is very dangerous. It's not the woman, it's the truth that it's in us. This is why in Lebanon we killed Anton Saadeh. Kamal Jubla. Zubran, if he was here, also kill him because he spoke about the real Christ consciousness. So many priests and imam and whatever, these so-called religious people, mafia, they came together and they wanted to kill me. And there's a mifti inside that he said, she's a Muslim, I don't kill her. If I'm not a Muslim your way, you know, he will kill me. His son came here and told me, my father loves you. And so they take this one. Jesus is alive. Umar Mukhtar, I'm more alive and longer living and everlasting liver than the killer. Jesus is alive. Hitler is dead. Neron is dead. Obama is dead. Truth is alive. You don't need a body. Anytime Micho is with Muhammad and Ali, Zaradasht, Arabia, he's living with the etheric body, with the etheric bodies. He told me secrets and mysteries about my life, you know. It's like, I said, please don't tell me anymore. And I lived three years in Lebanon with a man, his name is George Dahish, Dr. Dahish. I used to go every day. I never went alone. I was so scared. But we used to go friends together. And my father was his dentist. And he said, don't go there. He is, you know, a magician. No, he's not. He is still alive, not in the body. Before he left his body, he told me and a few others, let's go together. I want to leave my body and leave it in New York. Put dahish.com. So people are, he was like people, they were mad. How can a man like this, he is like us. He was a living light consciousness. He was not a magician. He did few miracles just to attract me, attract us. Jesus never walked on water, or he doesn't need this. These are only ishara, it's like a sign to tell you that he's different from you. He's the only son of God. We are the son of the prostitutes. He is the only son of God. Yes, he is only and unique, and everyone is unique. Everyone, our uniqueness. No two. Footprints are the same, fingerprints are the same, no two faces, no two hairs. God is not a copy-paste man. He's not a man, he's not a VIP. Who are these VIP people? They are the people that they have money, very important people, very ignorant people, very ignorant pennies. What are you doing with your money? Towers? Look at the richest people in Saudi Arabia, everywhere in the Arab world, they are dead. Or what they do to go and fuck, that's all. They are slaves to their hot dogs. And so is the woman. For her lips, boobs, vagina. They are lower than the animals. The animals, they don't do any surgery, any 
to erect more big penis, the dog is better than you and so the donkey. So be aware of who you are, that's all. Man arafa nafsahu arafa rabbuhu. If you know yourself, you know your Rabb ilah Allah, the levels. Abu ibn Ruhudus, the Trinity, the Divinity. The Rabb is everything. Ilah, you are worshipping the money, da 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 da. But the godliness is God that we don't see, the existence that has no name, truth that you cannot say. Tagore, one of the great Sufis, before leaving his body, he was crying and I want to tell you something, but you have left thousands of poems and books and pages and words and what. There is something that I want to say, but there is no words for it. And so Muhammad, he said, if all the ocean is ink, you know, and, and the pens will go and die, and so the inks will finish. And, but I cannot tell you the truth. I cannot write it. And we all can see this. Had al Fadaus wal Jannah, Barazikh, Christ is saying us, is speaking with us, is talking to us. So wherever your heart is, this is your home, on many levels. And and the home and the level is running this energy. So every moment, every day, you watch one of these presence. It's not a program. This one. It's not a web, it's a bed, a door to the inner treasure. So I don't feel when I am with you, no hunger, no thirst, nothing, just, ah, this. We, we become, again, child-like or children, children. Unless the children, they have innocence. And this innocence will take us into wisdom. And this is the only dome. We are all under the dome of wisdom. In Arabic, it's so beautiful when you say, Assalamu alaikum. It's 11 letters. It's the number 11, 11. A door to door. Wow, it's three. Wow. Left and right. And then, alaikum assalam. Another 11. It's like a door. And you go to the city of knowing, Medina to Ma'rifah. And then you come out alive. But at the time of Kennedy, there was Marlene Monroe. Now, at the time of this the moment, there is boobs and tubes of this of Haifa Wahbi. So this is a Mu'amara. Yes. This is what they are doing to kill three half of the people of this planet are Arabs and Muslims. Conspiracy. There is no God, godliness. So we listen to the priest, to the imam, to this and to that, and then I'm coming. Wait, wait, I want to finish my prayer. I'm coming. Yes, every story is like this. One time, a man went to one of the imam and he said, my wife doesn't pray. Okay, I will come and teach her how to pray. The next day in the morning at Fajr prayer, he went there and he saw the woman cleaning the porch and this. And he looked at her and she bowed down more, so her boobs were there. And so he looked at the breasts. Where is your husband? He went to Ma'roof, to a man. But I can hear him, he's praying in the mosque here. He built a mosque. No, we don't have a mosque here. This is a shop. Oh my God. The man heard the wife, finished prayer, came out. And the imam said, we are both liars. Your wife is the truth. She's telling the truth. What's going on? And the wife said, okay, I will tell you. The last word, he said it on my shoulder. He said, before the prayer, early in the morning, I want to go to Maruf and take my money back because somebody is paying me more money, more credits, more benefits, more percentage. And I told him, 
he's a widow man, he has kids and taking care of the kids, always a shoemaker gives you gifts. Why do you want to do this for this man? So this is what he was doing in the mosque. He was not praying. He was lip service, but his mind is with the money right there. And the husband said, you are right. And the imam said, you are right. I was here and I looked at your boobs. She said, yes, I was cleaning. This is my prayer, whatever I do. And you looked at my boobs. This is where you are and this is where he is. And I don't pray, I don't go to church, I don't go to mosque, I don't have Bible or Quran or any sacred book. Everything I look at, it's a sacred look. Every action you do it, not activity, every action, it has compassion. So be aware of what you are doing. Be aware of who you are. Be aware of this moment now. And I am one of the disciples of my beloved Osho. You know, I sit hours, you know, talking and sharing. It's not talk, walk your talk. I share my experience, not my experiment. You are not an experiment in the lab for the lab for the people to make money. You are an experience to live, not to experiment there. Now, everybody goes to the hospital, they use you. They do experiments on you. Do you have an insurance? Yes. Okay, madam. Let's do scanners, let's do this, let's do that. But the poor people, they live longer than the rich people and more happier. Because they don't care for the rich people, they care much more. You are poor, you have no money to pay for the hospitals. They are the richer, but they don't know how rich they are. Until they become poor, they know how poor they are. What's the use of having all these towers? And you are so sad. You are dead, not only sad. Let the buried, let the buried, all of them. When Jesus, you know, he looked at this, Paul and Peter, everyone. You are a fisherman, don't you? Yes, he said. And I'm the son of a carpenter, and you are the son of a fisherman. But uh, I will teach you how to fish God. Be a fisher God, not a fisher fish. So I don't give you a dagger, give you a fish every day. I teach you. Come and be with me. So he started walking with Christ because he was not with a man. He was with a light. He saw a sign, Ishara. Okay, he walked and then people came and said, your father died, Paul, Peter, come, come do the rituals. Can I go do the rituals three days and then I come back to you? Let the dead bury the dead. Don't postpone the truth, postpone the false, the bad, not the good. When you are with the Christ, you are with enlightened being, that's what you are here for. The first time I read the book here in this home, 40 years ago or more, or less, I don't know, no timing for the truth, but I knew that's my way. Zen macrobiotic. I went to London, and the first book I read, the first page from sex to superconsciousness, that's it. And at that time, I didn't go, it was a break. I didn't go back to this class. And then the master asked, where's Mariam? I was in the kitchen. When he came, I said, I read Osho. He said, he's exception. Every 50,000 years, a man comes like him. I said, who is not an exception? 